Damage in Silver City is unimaginable, but one thing is bringing people together, and that's faith. We're people in need, and we are so grateful that Silver City and Rolling Fork people are all coming together, and people from around the nation is descending here and helping all across, and it's such a wonderful thing. Just remember John 316, for God so loved. The deadly tornado ripped through Silver City Friday night, killing four people and displacing hundreds. Totally different look around here, you know, they don't feel like home no more. Many people still shaken up. I felt the house shake and a big old pecan tree came into the bedroom. But if it hadn't been for that car being there, it would have came into the closet where I was. So it was a blessing from God. But between homes ripped off the foundation they once stood and trees scattered throughout. We were revealed. God then blessed us to have our life. Other than this, this is material. It hurts, but we will rebuild. Two local church groups activating their recovery response teams to help out in any way. We just rode through and said, okay, there's a tree on that house. We're going to cut it off. According to the pastor of Silver City Baptist, a lot of progress has already been made in the cleanup efforts. The church located in the heart of the town is open for both shelter and service. Anybody and everybody's welcome. We have electricity and power. Uh, there, the cleanup is going really well around here. If they're doing, they are moving around here and getting it cleaned up. So the roads are clean. Just come on if you need a place to stay. In Silver City, Madeline Nolan, 16 WAPT News.